Hi everybody. Uh, this is a little demonstration project I've been working on for a little bit. Uh, everybody knows roughly what the insides of a hard drive look like, but the voice coil motor is a little bit of a mystery to people. Uh, the voice coil motor is what's responsible for moving the hard drive heads back and forth, and it's hidden underneath two powerful magnets. Uh, the magnets are kind of like this um, steel shell powerful rare earth magnets in between and the voice coil motor is just an electromagnet you can see the windings on it that are underneath or sandwiched between those two magnets and it's that voice coil motor when you energize it with voltage one way or the other uh, causes the electromagnet to move relative to the other uh, permanent magnets. So in a hard drive, that allows the heads to move back and forth. Now, what I've done is I've found uh, the two wires on this assembly that energize the voice coil, traced it back through the hard drive wiring, and then soldered up two little wires to it so that I could control the voice coil. And I was able to move it back and forth using a AA battery which was pretty fun, but not very interesting. Um, what's more interesting is showing you how a hard drive uh, can use varying amounts of voltages to move the voice coil more precisely and to do what it needs to do. Uh, for small track-to-track -track seeks, like what you might get when you're streaming a defragged hard drive, uh, streaming something big, you'll see small movements on the coil. Whereas for large random workloads, or excuse me, uh, busy random workloads, the head will be flying around rather vigorously back and forth. So what I've done here is built a little circuit. Um, I'm using a micro bit, uh, which each button will um, tell, allow me to send voltage through the voice coil to move it either a small amount or a large amount. Uh, the circuit here is to um, control Actually, the current coming from the batteries um, under the control of the micro bit, but not directly from the micro bit, because the micro bit, the t outputs on it don't have enough juice to drive the voice coil. And I'm going to do is show you um, how to how the hard drive firmware more precisely controls the actions on the voice coil. So, for small amounts of movement, keep an eye on the head there. You can see me holding the button down, it's pulsing and moving the head. And that's the kind of movement you would get if you were going from track to track reading a continuous stream of data. For larger movements, not full seeks, but you know, generously sized seeks, it would put more voltage into the coil and move the head further in the same amount of time. And then for really good fun, I've programmed what looks like a full seek, which brings the, um, which moves the head much more aggressively. The, the switch is to control the direction of the current, whether it's positive or negative voltage going into the coil, because I haven't learned how to create that circuit yet. So once again, small seeks, medium seeks, and then large seeks. I didn't go as large as I could, um, but that gives you a, vague, a basic idea. Now, in real life, this hard drive would be able to do that seeking motion very accurately, um, uh, tiny to tiny amounts. These hard drives had tens of thousands of tracks per inch on them. And of course it was doing that while the platters are spinning. Right, so it's a very it's a very precise mechanism. Even this hard drive, which is only it's an old quantum, about three hundred megabytes, was amazingly high tech for its day. One thing I noticed about this hard drive uh, is this optical grating here, which looks like it was part of the head positioning mechanism, uh, which is unusual. I've not seen an optical system like that before. Um, the other thing about this hard drive too is this is not the platter. The actual platter 
that's being used for data is underneath. And for whatever reason, this hard drive may have been a uh, lower spec model, but this is a dummy platter on top and a dummy arm. The actual record heads and the real platter can be seen in a side view down here, the reflective platter, and then the head and then the head and arm assembly. You might be able to see it there. And that's it. Fun with voice coil motors and demonstrating how a hard drive how a hard drive's firmware would use varying voltages to control the amount of the seek.